Actress Christina Hendricks is best known for her work on the critically acclaimed series Mad Men, which has more nominations at tomorrow night's Emmy Awards than any other program, and one of those nominations is for Best Supporting Actress, thanks to her work as the sexy but tough office manager, Joan. I don't know if you heard, but I fired Joey. I did. Good for you. Excuse me? Now everybody in the office will know that you solved my problem and that you must be really important, I guess. What's wrong with you? I defended you. You defended yourself. And Hendricks is also making a big splash on the big screen this weekend with two new films, and she joins us for Early Coffee this morning. Great to have you with us, Christina, and congratulations on the Emmy nomination. Thank you very much. And, I mean, just watching that clip of you, you're so fantastic at this role of Joan, and now you're adding all of these new roles with the movies to your life. Do you have a preference? Is there something that draws you to different characters? I, I don't really have a preference. I mean, Mad Men is, is my first love. Um, I always love going back to work, and we've just gotten back, which is really great. Um, but these films were really, really fun because completely opposite from what I'm doing most of the year over at Mad Men, and, and the two movies couldn't be more different from one another. And um, I really just liked the projects, liked the people who were involved, liked the scripts. So. Speaking of those people, Sarah Jessica Parker yeah. plays opposite you, and I don't know how she does it. You are a fashion icon. Icon, as is she in many uh, I respects. think she uh, takes the cake on that <laughs> to be put in the same category is very sweet thank you was it was it strange for you at all I mean to be in her presence and to think about you know style and taste and all of these things on a daily basis I think I just watched her every move you know try to learn from her she just looks amazing and she's so kind and, and lovely and professional and talented, and it was a real pleasure to work with her. Uh, speaking of style, you're known as never, you're not the girl who comes out in black. Usually, you love color, <laughs> you embrace it, you look fabulous in this navy. Thank you. Do you know what you're wearing to the Emmys yet? I know what I'm wearing. It's not black, it's very blingy. Blingy? Yes, it's very sparkly. Okay, and did your <laughs> husband have a hand in this? Um, no, I usually walk in, I try it on, and I go, what do you think, and he goes, that's so beautiful, and then, Aww. you know, but it, he says that about everything, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lucky You have to have your girlfriends, you know, to give you feedback as well. So it's going to be blingy. Now, here's my question about your husband, because he's been wonderful. He stood by your side, and he, he has also had to see you, you know, be this sex symbol in many cases. <laughs> Esquire, for example, by females choice yes, names you female. the most yeah. beautiful woman. How does your husband think of that? And then also, who do you think is the most beautiful woman? Oh my gosh. Well, how my husband feels about it is he just goes, I told you that years ago. Uh, I've been telling you that. I said it first, which is very nice. Um, who do I think is a beautiful woman? God, so many. Um, Kate Winslet, mm. uh, Helen Mirren. I don't know. There's so many so many beautiful women <laughs> that well, I admire in this business. It, uh, in terms of the roles that you've been doing, I mean, Joan is the one that people know you the best for with Mad Men. Um, what can we expect in the new season? I can't reveal anything to you except for that the scripts are amazing and we're really excited to be back and there are some surprises in the beginning right away and, and um, you know, we'll have to see. The other movie that you're in, Drive, much darker and a huge departure from the role that we've seen you play so many times. How about that one? Um, well, it's directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, who uh, I think is just sensationally talented. And I had seen um, a couple other films that he had directed, and I really, really wanted to work with him. And of course, Ryan Gosling, who I think is so amazing. Um, and it is dark, and it's very stylish, and it's um, completely different. I'm really proud of the film. I think people are gonna really like it. Um, and I think people are going to get really, really excited about this director, too, mm. which is cool, yeah. Great tease for the movie. Yes. We have one other question for you. We ask okay. it of all of our guests here at Early Coffee. If you could have early coffee with anyone dead or alive, who would it be, Christina? I knew you were going to ask me this question, <laughs> and I really thought it through, and I know this is going to sound sort of trite, but it, it really would be my husband. <laughs> I mean, I, I, It's I, not I, trite. It's great. I mean, I get to have coffee with him every morning, but I... Dead or alive, that, that's who I'd want to sit and have coffee with. So That's who you would choose. That's your who husband. I would choose, yeah. Well, we appreciate you joining us this thank morning. Thank you for having Corey. me. Christina, thank you so much.